hello guys and welcome back to another video in the netflix series so in this one we're going to go ahead and and work with a um, show movie detail and this one is going to help us like um view the, the details of a movie when we click on it for example this movie over here that we called whatever if we click on it then we want to go to another page that's going to show us everything about the movie and give us a description and the title then it's going to allow us play the movie so that's simply what we're going to be doing in this video so let's just go ahead and get started now what we want to do is just head back to our views.py and we're going to create um, a new view and we're going to call this movie detail so we call this movie list i'm okay let just say yeah i could just copy this because the movie detail is going to be um, almost identical with this one so we're going to call this one movie detail rather and we're going to define all this try then coming over to the profile this one i don't think we need any profile for this what we just need to do is get the movie so we're going to say movie should be called to movies.objects.filter and this should be movie not movies rather this one should be get because we are trying to get one particular movie or maybe many movies so that's what we're trying to do we want to get just one movie from all the whole movies that we've had then we want to show the detail of the movie so we're going to say movie.objects.get now what we want to do is simply pass in the uuid so remember all the movies have their own uuid so we're going to say uuid should be equal to movie underscore id now we need to add in movie underscore id to this place just like that and you might be asking me how do we get this movie id and profile id and all that it's simply from the model so this is called a uh, movie so to get the id it's simply movie id this is called profile it's simply called profile id this is custom user it will be called custom user id hopefully you understand so from this one now we have movie id so we get one movie over here now the next thing we want to do is simply get rid of all this and we just want to pass in return render just like that so we passed in return render but i think we also need the context so it's okay here but it's going to be called movie movie detail movie detail the html just like that and just as usual if there is no movie so this one shouldn't be profile any longer this should be except movie then we should do so if movie does not exist then we should do return the render um let's just go back to the profile list hopefully you understand so let me explain everything that we did over here firstly let's fix the context okay so what we did over here is quite easy now firstly um from here you already know what's happening this is to actually just make a user um login before they access this page and take note if you don't want to do this you can also do something like add login required and this is going to work perfectly well the same way this other one works if that's this one in fact this one is um more shorter than the other one so we define the class movie detail we define this get thing over here then we try to get in um a movie so when we get a movie we'll pass the context movie and pass it into the template so if that movie that we're trying to get does not exist then we want to simply redirect them back to the profile list page where they can create a new profile maybe with um a new maturity level that has the movie that they are looking for hopefully you understand but let's say we don't have the movie yet in our what is it called in our netflix app then it's simply going to re redirect them back to the profile list and you can also do something like redirecting them back to a page that says something like um oops movie does not exist or oops coming soon movie is coming soon hopefully you understand okay so after all this now the next thing i want to do is go ahead and create a where is it called the urls for it so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna say watch slash this and over here we want to pass in detail for this one and um or let's just say we want to go to watch slash detail slash this so this one remember it's movie detail so movie detail then we're gonna name it movie detail just like that um movie detail as few then this should be movie detail okay so hopefully you understand everything that's going on come over to the urls.py let's make sure that it's the same thing sure it is so with this now um let's try going to the detail of a particular movie so what's going on here let's see what's going on there okay i think we are getting an error in urls line 11 so let's see 
come over to URLs line 11 um there's watch slash detail slash this slash movie ID name is movie detail hmm, what's wrong I can actually see what's wrong let me see hmm. Okay, so um, I actually found that out. We have to use this one over here when we are using um, class-based views. So that's what we need to do. Okay, so with this now, let's come over here and refresh this page. This is how it looks right now. So if we come over to this URL down here and we add some like detail slash, okay. It says getting movie ID. What's happening? Get missing one required positional argument movie ID. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so um, I think that should be it. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works now. So we refresh this. It's working now. Over here, we need to put a link that's gonna help us go to the particular movie. So head back to movie list, and for this movie over here, let's just cut this and put an A tag. And this a tag in between it, that's where we're gonna put this. Okay, so for here, what we want to do is simply call a URL, and this URL should go to movie detail. You remember that's what we named it. So what we want to say is simply go over to movie underscore ID should be equal to movie dot UUID. Okay, so with this now, let's refresh. And hopefully it's still working fine. So it says reverse for movie detail notes found. Let's see. Okay, so as usual, we need to add in the Netflix app then with a the column over there so that it works fine. Now we should just see an empty template. This should work fine now. Okay, it says reverse for movie detail not found. The lining that movie detail. Let's see our URLs. So it's let me just copy this movie detail. And back to the movie list, I should paste it in here. Movie detail. Then hopefully this is what we need. Movie ID should be equal to movie movie dot UUID. Okay. I don't know why that's not working. Let's let's just get back and refresh. Come over here. Okay, so I think it's working now, but but it's not getting the right thing it should get. So you said reverse for movie detail with argument movie IDs, blah 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 blah. Let's try it. Watch slash detail slash that. Hmm. Okay, I think we are missing something. Let's see what we are missing. Okay, so let's get back to the URLs. And over here, we are still using profile ID. Let's change this to movie ID. Okay. So now when we refresh this, okay, as you can see, it's working. So now we can go to the detail of a movie. When we click on this, you see it's working, but it says movie detail. The HTML is not found. So we simply need to create a HTML file with such name. Come over here, new file, paste that, enter, get back here. A refresh and see a blank page I think yeah okay so what we need to do is come over here again and we need to copy the templates so you remember we need to come over here and copy the template it's called movie detail movie detail I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it over here and refresh this page Okay, so this is what we got now. So what, what I simply want to do is just as usual, we're going to fix up this page. So over here, I'm going to get rid of this nav and head things. And for this one too, I'm going to get rid of this and get rid of this. Okay, so let's refresh this page again. Okay, block with name content appears more than once. Okay, so let's end block rather than block content okay that's it working fine
Now we need to go ahead and fix up some things. For example, this is not working. So we need to get rid of this and we need to say movie.image.url. Now let's ref. Okay, well, what just happened? Okay, so this is it. Now movie.image.url, it brings up this movie over there. So now when we click on this, it brings this up as the banner. When we click on the space jam, it brings up the space jam as the banner. So hopefully you understand what's going on. Now for the title, this is a Viking. We need to get rid of the Vikings and we need to pull movie.name. So let's refresh. Refresh again, refresh again, refresh again. Something is wrong. Movie.image.url, movie.name. Let's see if that's actually what we are supposed to have there. Movie.name. Or is it title? Let's see. I think it's title. Yeah. So we refresh this again. Boom. You see, we've got Space Jam. Now, when we come over here, you see we've got Luca as the movie name. And I think this is Popeye. Okay, as you can see, we've got Poppy. So take you know, these are just dummy images. You could put whatever you want in there. And let's say we want to go into baby a movie. When we click on this now, we see the baby movie things. So hopefully you understand what's going on. Now let's fix the description. Now for this one, we need to get rid of this. And we need to just come over here, push this all the way to that part. And put this down here. Okay, so in here we need to add in the same thing, but this one is gonna be movie dot description description. Let's refresh. Hello, what's going on? Movie the title, movie the description. Let's get back and let's come over here and choose another movie. Whoa. But why is the title not showing up? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get rid of all this till I get back to this part again. And I'm simply gonna refresh this. It shows this right now. So what I wanna do is just come over here and copy this up to here. I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm manually gonna say movie dot, let's see what we named it now, models.py. So it's description, this is it over here. So it's going to be movie that's description. This should work now. Okay. As you can see it's working, but I think the description is way too long. That's why it's not actually showing the name. So we need to fix that. Let's come over here and let's fix the movie Pope. And let me just get rid of all this. And let's just say this is a Pope movie. Pope movie and save this. So now when we refresh, what do you notice? It says this is a Pope movie, but we actually want this to be at this part. Why is it coming over here? So we're just going to use a quick fix for it. Quick fix. Now, how do we do that? We just need to add in a lorem ipsum one. I think we need to come over here and just down here. We need to add a lorem underscore ip sum one something like that i think okay so we need to add lorem over here okay so we need to add lorem one and now let's come over here and refresh this again okay so what do you notice this is working quite good so it says this is a pope movie then lorem ip sum blah 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 now we need to get rid of this lorem one. So lorem one is simply just gonna call the dummy lorem if something. Hopefully you understand. So if I cut out all this and let's refresh, you see it just shows Pope over there. But if I cut out this and do this, let's see. See, it just shows the, the normal lorem if something. So I need to say lorem one just like this. But in order to let me get rid of okay, let me just get rid of this lorem thing. Okay, guys, so as you can see, um, 
over here. I have a description for this Popeye movie. This is it. All this stuff over here. Now, when we come over here and say movie the description um, over here. Now back to this place. When we refresh, as you can see, we get this description. So when we view this movie again, you can see we get a description for the movie. Just a very long look award. And for this one too, we get the description for the movie Space Jam. So we can actually just change this and make it a lot more, more bigger. Let's say um, Space Jam. Um, I can just paste in the Space Jam thing. We can just copy this again and let's just multiply this and click Save. So with this now, as you can see, we've got this is Space Jam, this is Space Jam, this is Space Jam and all that. Okay. So um, this is it. Now, the next thing I think we should do is work with displaying seasonal movies. But maybe we could just do that in the next video. If it's a seasonal movie, we display it. If it's not, then we'll leave it out there. So um, I think I'll be ending it off for this video. And in the next one, we're going to go ahead and work with the play. So that one is going to help us simply play a movie. And it should be quite short. So when we hit on the play button over here, oh, that's true. The play button is still not showing up well and the description over here is still not showing up well. So we still need to fix the description. Now I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to come over here and and I'm going to just put it there like that with the description. So now you can see we will still get the space jump thing over here. So hopefully you understand and you could just go ahead and even slice this or truncate it. So it just shows like a very short um, description. Then over here, it's going to show the full description. So that's it. Now, in the next one, we're going to go ahead and work with the plane of the video so that when we click on play, it plays. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you didn't, don't forget to drop a like and also consider subscribing and drop a comment in the comment section below. If you have any issues, I'm always there to help you fix it and debug it. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video for now. My love, peace out.